peace everyone thank you for stopping by my channel i am queenie and this is my channel kicking it in the kitchen with queenie um though i'm not in the kitchen today i am outside i'm just trying to um catch the last bit of the sun you know out as you can see you know y'all can kind of see the trees are turning the leaves are pretty golden brown and gold and it's been pretty gray out here in the northern part of, you know, USA. And um, it's been pretty gray and rainy and cold. Um, but today it's in the high 50s, okay? And the sun is out and the skies are blue and I, ha I have to come out and take advantage of that. But I need to give y'all an update. So, here it is. Uh, one week, approximately one week before November first and yeah yeah Let, let's get into this update like seriously so everybody knows that i completed 100 days out of my 122 day you know just journey and um so since then i have been eating pretty clean um i've been eating bean a bean a grain and my my grain that i choose to eat is uh, quinoa, uh, leafy greens, and I do eat a, eat a sprouted uh, wrap or a sprouted bread, and I use Ezekiel sprouted bread. So, it's, and I don't even eat it every day. Um, but let me tell you, let me get into this. You know how I feel, how my body feels. You know I haven't gained really any weight, um, but what I will say is. My body is starting to become inflamed again. And it's so interesting to me because um, I'm not eating anything unhealthy or bad. I did eat for the first time earlier this week some processed sugar. You know, my girlfriend from Kitchen Chemistry, she, listen, they are a vegan bakery for, out of Arizona. And um, she sent me some peach cobbler cinnamon rolls and some vegan banana pudding. Huh? Honey. Mm, that hurt. Listen, that banana pudding gave me all the feels of back in the day when I was younger, like on Easter. You know what I mean? Um, just family and holidays and smiles and just all the beautiful feels, you know, that correlates with that memory of eating, you know, old school banana pudding with your grandma. You know what I'm saying? Like on church on Sundays, good Easter Sunday. You know what I'm saying? That's what this banana pudding um, gave to me, okay? So I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, please look her up. She's on IG, Kitchen Chemistry, beautiful woman um, um, in, you know, out there in Arizona. So, but what I'm saying is, even with eating that, you know, in moderation, okay, um, I just, I really haven't been eating anything. It's just bean, a grain, a green. I do a sprouted bread every now and then, or a sprouted wrap. I do nut butters um, with a little maple syrup. But like, does that really sound bad? I don't, I do my teas still. I don't drink coffee. I drink a coffee substitute called Dandy Blend with dandelion and chicory root it's an excellent um excellent you know um coffee substitute that tastes truly like coffee but my body is man i'm feeling like inflamed and what i mean inflamed is like sometimes my scalp would get itchy and you know i told you um for a long time i had to um uh take a like a Claritin daily because I would break out in hives. Um, I'm not breaking out in hives, but there are times where like a, a patch on my leg or on my back or on my, on my stomach will become inflamed and get kind of itchy, but I don't get a hive. But see, that is signals or red flags the body you know, gives you to let you know, whoa, something's not right. Now, in the past, I would ignore it. But what I've learned with this experience of juicing for 100 days is not to ignore those warning, those small warning signs. So it really, this in, within this last seven day period, I've been really thinking about 
going back and starting to juice again. And I mean like juice completely. Um, I don't feel, I don't feel the same. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely feel the difference in a higher vibration of a food you eat versus, an, you know, okay, so beans aren't bad, but when we talk about vibration wise or a living food, something that is not cooked over 119, 120 degrees, okay? Something that is living. So fruit is a high vibration. Fruit and vegetables are really high on the scale of, you know, vibration and dropping to a heavier, dense food like a bean is, man, I can feel the difference. I can feel the difference, y'all. And, and I'm telling you, it, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't. And it doesn't make, you know, there's some days that I just feel like, hmm, it could be seasonal stuff because the weather is changing here. It could be. But I don't think it's all of that because I love the fall. I love, you know, that how the the trees and the you know the leaves are you know changing. And I love I love fall. I've always loved fall. So why am I feeling the way I feel? So I think I gotta do it. You know, I started on this juice journey to become whole. You know to really heal my body and my body is letting me know that I still have some healing to do and that is what's most port important to me is to become whole and to heal my body and I gotta do it I gotta do it I gotta get back on this juice this juice train like the juice train is pulling up to the station who getting on with me like that's really what I want to know who gonna get on this juice train with me and juice to become whole to become what are y'all trying to become have y'all taken time to really think of that what are we becoming and what can we become if we just change a few things that we put in our mouth what can we become become healthier i can reverse some things i can change some things and it's so possible because i've done it so I guess what I'm saying is, uh, for the ones that know that I had, you know, on social media, I have posted that at November 1st through the 3rd, I am doing, I am hosting, facilitating a three-day juice challenge. And, and if there's some people who want a little bit more um, of a challenge, I am also offering a 10-day. Now, for the ones who are very courageous, okay and they're brave and they want to do the whole 30 days with me i'm going to create that as well and you'll be able to do that and it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one. you know the 30 day is going to be one-on-one -on -one. the three day and the 10 day is a group um and it you you know i'll post a link below where you can go to the website and you can check it out for yourself um but after the 30 days um i am hosting a beautiful event that i'm putting together for december um, and it's going to be a 24 day uh, raw food, so raw vegan food for 24 days. And it's called the Raw Food Recalibration. And it's um, in regards to the winter solstice and the things that we want to bring forth for the new year. So we're planting the seeds to harvest in the springtime. So this is a beautiful thing that I'm putting together. I was really led spiritually and guided to put this together. It's gonna to be similar to Juicy July. It's gonna be every week, every day, something that we're gonna be uh, meditating on, journaling on, really doing that inside internal work. Um, so we can definitely get not only a physical level up, but it's gonna be a mental and a spiritual leveling up as well. And that is that is what matters to me. So if that's something that it you know you are interested in, go ahead and click the link below and check that out, you know, and make sure you secure your seat early. Um, I might do a Black Friday sale, so we'll see. We will see about that. But um, for the ones that done Juicy July this year, you know exactly what I'm talking about and the change that um, Juicy July had on you. And continually, you are continuously feeling the effects of July. The work that you did in July um, is still unfolding and it's almost November. So you can just imagine what 
what we're going to be doing in December to set you up for the um, new coming year, 2023. So, but yeah, I'm good. I feel like I can be better. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I, I got to get back to juicing, you know. My body is feeling like, yo, what happened? <laughs> I was getting all this nutrient-dense um, juice, and now I'm still juicing. And that's the thing. I am still juicing daily. But I'm also ingesting, you know, the, the bean and the grain and the leafy green. Maybe until I, you know, heal completely what's going on within my person, my body. Maybe right now I just can't handle that. I mean, it's not bad, right? I could be eating so much worse, Pro a lot of processed, you know, foods, um, but I'm not doing that. Um, maybe until I really completely heal my body, um, they need to be okay. So I just wanted to sh share my journey. You know, I know there are some of you that can definitely relate to um, to me and my experience. So. I just wanted to thank you for taking this time and coming and rapping with me outside on this beautiful fall day. So, yeah, I'll be connecting with you soon. Also, please find us on Facebook, the Facebook group. Follow me on um, Instagram. Um, connect with me in the club, clubhouse. And I'll be posting all those links down below for sure. Um, let's connect. Let's connect. If, if you are a sister, you one of my sisters, listen, come into this sister circle so we can help lift each other up. I need you and you need me. So come on, take my hand. Come on. <laughs> peace, peace and so much love. Seriously, seriously. Bye.